Um, it's, it's, there's an in-between size. I'm sure, I'm sure they're, they're available, but I don't have them. So I'm, I'm going to use a, a 3 8 will work. Just don't get too excited just yet. here notice uh, they're all pretty much the same length this guy here this guy here this guy out And before I take the piece there off, I'm going to take these valve cover off. That would already, already loose, wouldn't it? We'll take our oil cap. I had to throw to plug the hole up. So we're going to go ahead and take our, our bolts and our retainers. I made this come off all the way at one time, so it does be fine too. And you'll see right here, you see the valve cover. The gasket, the rubber gasket here under there. I'm going to replace that because I know it's leaking. But I'm going to lay this down like it is right here. Boat's already in it. Um, I mean, I could put them in. There's no sense in, in really doing that. But I got to take it right, right back out. But I'm going to leave it right here on the bio for now. So I got my swivel here. Let's see if we can. It's got here all. And that one. Get a kid in it. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go over here. Get one. Get right here.
So we'll come over here. So now, get those bolts out. So, I ran a battery when all the bolts were up on. Last bow cover off. Get it off right here. All the bolts are still in it. Not to drop anything. So, we'll take that off. And I'll go ahead and clean the gases up. And as you can see, we have everything now good and pretty well off. Here are the these are the rocker arms right here. Those are your, what opens and close your valves. For those of you are wondering, most folks that are watching this type of video will probably already know this. But that's what opens and close your valves. Those are the valve cover gaskets. And we'll get back to you in a little bit. This one is going to we'll pop it up. I haven't been turned loose yet. But it should be easy. Most of them are. You see it's already starting to move a little bit. All right. So we've got a little bit one corner. All right. So now we're just going to remove the intake. I think we're going to be a little bit shocked what we want to find here. Oh, let me get this bolt here out of here. I left it in here earlier. It's kind of in the way. All right, so lay it there. Now, so now we're going to get this out here. You see the gasket. Watch this uh, heater sensor right here, heat sensor. I left it in there. Most of the time you want to take it out first, but I left mine in there because I didn't think I'd be hitting mine. So I'm just, as long as you're aware of it, you're okay. But if you're not, you're going to break it. So, there's antifreeze, and you see the gasket, and, you, and you'll, I'm going to show you just a minute where it's filled. And of course in there you have all of your lifters, cam, rock arms, and whatnot. That is, that's not good because you see what's running in there, right? That's antifreeze running into where oil goes. Because these bolts right here are in, some are in oil jackets, some are in coolant jackets. Most of the time the ones in the middle are going to be in the oil jackets. Look at your bolts. That'll be a telltale sign of what, where maybe the oil or the, the gaskets failed. Not that it matters, you replace the whole gasket and then remove the intake. But um, if it fails in an oil jacket, you're gonna, it's, it's going to have oil sludge, more black around it. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and remove this off here. Over here. All right, so we got this off. I laid over here now. You can see the, the gasket material is still parsley on there anyway. This is the gasket and if you look you can see some telltale signs about where they get, not that it matters, you got to do either way, but like I said you got to do something. Now this one in my opinion is going to, it felt this, these two are oil, this is oil jacket. You see the oil that built up in there and you get some that's going to be in oil, but these, these boats go through jackets. Some is water and some are oil. The two cannot mix. You have to have them free flowing. If they start building up sludge, then you're not getting either enough coolant or enough oil to the engine. There's going to be failure somewhere. But this is the intake off. These are the rubberized gaskets. It's I don't like these gaskets. I'd rather use my own. I've got some more, but I'm also going to use my, uh, Permatex because I think it, if you use it correctly, it makes you a great far better gasket, superior. And you get some great gaskets. There's some high quality gaskets you can get. Um, just don't get any permatex inside the engine. If you put too much on there, then you will have some major problems. You'll be tearing the whole engine down or else just buy a new car. But if you look at the gasket, here it is and it is, it's just floppy. It's not even stuck on there good, which is not really a... I was shocked how easy it came off, I'll be honest with you. But, uh, but the other one, I think more or less filled here uh, basically in the middle, this side for sure, uh, and this would be the back side, this side here, because here is your heat sensor, heat sending unit right here, which we'll take out, but uh, it's sent, and this here is also the throttle body side, but there is the gaskets that came with it, and also, if you look, you can see right here, the the gasket, or where, where do you think it filled? Maybe you can give your opinion what you think happened too. But in my opinion, because of the oil buildup and sludge, it's gonna be right in this area. Both of them probably, but for sure this one. I believe this one did too. And maybe the others did too, I don't know. 
But I know those two did, one, and then that right there. So anyway, we center intake here. Nah, nah, nah. Um, my, my plans, what I'm gonna do before I put it back, is obviously we're gonna clean up all the gasket material. Right there, see all that? Mm -hmm. but anyway, we're gonna clean all that up. And um, I'm also gonna come in here and I'm gonna polish in the ports, right here. Look inside there, they'll be all kind of corroded. Oh yuck. I'm gonna clean all those up. I'm gonna polish all of that, and also in here, uh, I'm not—I don't have an acid vat, and I wouldn't put aluminum. <laughs> but um, in one of those, I don't like doing that. But I am going to thorough. I'll spend more time probably on this intake that I did this entire job at this point. But I'm gonna clean it all up real good, and uh, and then we'll start. We'll check everything out real good on the on the car over in here, and then because they're that they're they just could be something else that we're missing. So what we want to do is make sure we get everything back and then we'll start putting everything back together again. All right, stay tuned.